Here's something you don't want to miss. A reality TV show on the History Channel is going to feature a Lincoln man next week. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl joins us now with more on his story. Katrina? Rod Megan, what most people see as an everyday railroad tie, an 18-year-old Lincoln man sees it as an opportunity to turn to it into something unique. It's given him the chance to show off his talent on national TV. 18-year-old Colton Arias is being put to the test. The best way to get better at it is just to do it and make knife after knife after knife. He will be featured on Forged and Fire's newest episode next week. I mean, who wouldn't think that's fun? You get to hit uh, red hot metal with a hammer. The show tests some of the best in the field as they attempt to recreate some of history's most iconic edged weapons. I really, really enjoy uh, making something that's going to last for a really long time and that can be used in a lot of ways from practically nothing. Forged in Fire reached out to Colton after seeing his work online, where he makes and sells knives. He has been bladesmithing since he was just 12 years old. It's something he has self-taught himself with books and YouTube videos. He'll spend 10 hours a day out here when it's 100 degrees or in the middle of the winter time. Colton says it's a dream to even be considered on the show. You see all these high caliber bladesmiths and craftsmen on that show and uh, to be among those was just like a huge honor. Colton's dad says his best hunting knives are made by his son. It's a skill he is very proud of. You know, everybody's biased for their kids, for their children, but uh, you know, he, he really is an amazing uh, Amazing kid with his industry and uh, enthusiasm, his passion about things, this being one of them. So he's, a, he's been a joy to watch grow up. The contestant who survives the elimination rounds and wins the episode's contest earns $10,000 and the title of Forged and Fire Champion. The end result is um, sort of like the icing on the cake. Bladesmithing could potentially turn into a business for Colton, but for now it will remain a hobby, something to do on the side that makes him happy. It was so mesmerizing to see Colton make a knife out of a railroad tie today in just 30 minutes. We hope that his creative imagination and skills were, will earn him the title of the Forged and Fire champion. Yes, we wish him the very best. Good luck to him. Mm -hmm. Thank you.